Hello, welcome to Ask PC Mag, where our tech experts answer your tech questions. I'm Dan Costa, Editor-in-Chief of PCMag.com, and I'm joined today by John Burek. John runs our hardware team in the labs and tests all of our laptops, desktops, and components. John, thanks for joining me. Hey, happy to be here, Dan. So we have a question from a reader today who is shopping for a laptop, and they're seeing that there are some laptops out there that support Wi-Fi 6, and they want to know whether Wi-Fi 6 is a must-have feature in their next laptop. And we should probably start by telling people what Wi-Fi 6 is. Well, sure. Um, Wi-Fi 6 is actually a um, sort of more user-friendly name for a lot of the nomenclature that you've seen uh, around wireless networking up to this point. In this case, Wi-Fi 6 stands for something called 802.11ax, which is the most recent and fastest variant of Wi-Fi. Um, with the introduction of Wi-Fi 6, there was also sort of a retrofitting onto the previous generation of Wi-Fi of the name Wi-Fi 5. Nobody called it Wi-Fi 5 at the time when it came out, um, and it's what is known as 802.11ac, um, and it is what you will find in most recent laptops. Um, but basically, um, the powers that be in the Wi-Fi world decided that um, all these letters and numbers and dots wasn't a particularly user-friendly way of talking about this stuff. So Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6 are where we're at today. I think, I mean, it's pretty clear to say, I mean, we've been covering uh, Wi-Fi for a very long time, and um, it is an awkward thing to spit out. It's awkward to keep track of. It's awkward to, t to cover and write about. So I think Wi-Fi 6 is a, definitely an improvement. Um, now the question is, is it necessary right now? Well, I would say um, it depends on the machine you're buying, the laptop you're buying, and how long you intend to keep it. Um, is it strictly necessary? In all cases, no, not strictly. Um, because even if you have a machine that doesn't do Wi-Fi 6 and you have a Wi-Fi 6 router, it'll still work. If you have a machine that supports Wi-Fi 6 but you don't have a Wi-Fi 6 router, it'll still work. So technically, Wi-Fi 6 will work with anything that you connect it to out there, um, but to get the most advantage from it, you need to have 6 support on both the laptop and the router. So is it necessary? It really depends on, again, whether you already own a Wi-Fi 6 router and what you tend to do around your household or apartment or whatever the case is. Um, if you already own a Wi-Fi 6 router, you probably don't because they've just started to hit the market and there are you know, a limited number of them out there. Um, you can get a Wi-Fi 6 laptop and it will work with it if you eventually get one of those routers, um, but it'll still work with your older router. Um, the only thing you're giving up is a bit of extra speed and perhaps some better negotiation of multiple streams and lots of users. But if you're living in an apartment with yourself and a cat and, you know, there isn't a lot of competition for the for the Wi-Fi, you're not going to see a huge advantage from 6 uh, near term. Yeah, I think that's a really good. I think we've tested, four, I think, four Wi-Fi 6 compatible routers in the lab so far. So they're they're just starting to hit the market, which means most people will not support it at home or in the office, really. Right. Yeah. And, and I remember, as a matter of fact, when we were starting to see the first few of those come through for review, it was a struggle to find a client for it. In other words, a laptop with Wi-Fi 6 built in. Um, now, you're starting to see some on the laptop side, some premium models, for the most part premium, although a few mainstream starting to come with Wi-Fi 6 support. But more often than not, you're still going to see Wi-Fi 5, a.k.a. 802.11ac um, in most of the machines you see out there. And that's really the laptop market saying, to a certain extent, we can wait another year. Yeah, so it sounds like it's not worth paying extra for, but uh, if you can get a laptop that's competitively priced with it, you know, in two years, you may get some benefit out of it. Yeah, no, I think that's good advice. I mean, the other thing to bear in mind is if you think you'll be upgrading your router at some time in the next year or two, and especially given our current circumstances, you know, uh, where we are with a lot of people working at home and a lot of people competing for the same Wi-Fi signal for um, streams like the one we're doing now, um, you may be looking at upgrading your router sooner than later. And if you're buying a laptop with the knowledge that you're going to be doing that sooner or later, it might behoove you to get an AX or Wi-Fi 6 compatible machine so that, you know, you're ready for the future. But, you know, ready for the future, Wi-Fi 6 is a good thing to have. I wouldn't overspend on it right now unless you have a compelling need for you sort of managing a lot of users on a, you know, home network at the same time. John, sage advice as always. Thanks for doing this with me. Hey, my pleasure. Anytime. That's Ask PC Mag for today. If you've got questions, you can ask them on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Just use the hashtag AskPCMag. Until then, we'll see you on PCMag.com.